welcome everybody. So, uh, you might be noticing what's going on, dudes. Why are you re uploading Whiskash? Is this a bug? Like, what's going on? Uh, so, also, welcome if you're new here, and also to my returning viewers, uh, I'm back. You know, I took a, maybe a week long break, but I am back. Um, I was playing Scarlet and Violet and I was going home, so I couldn't really uh, work on stuff at home. Um, and I'll actually, will be, I will be taking another week long break in, a, in about four or five days, but I do have about five days to, to work on stuff, which is great. So, stay tuned for those. I'm going to be getting some changes out. Um, that being said, uh, you might be noticing I already recorded a video for Whiskash, so what's going on? So I made some changes. Normally, when I make changes to a Pokemon, I don't bother to re-record the video unless it's a significant change. For example, I've done little tweaks here and there, uh, Snorlax's ability changed, a couple of small things like that, but this one is such a massive rework in terms of what the ability does and, and his stats that I figured I should re-record it. Not to mention, I didn't want that Intimidate video up because the main reason I changed the ability is because I even said in the video that Intimidate was kind of fucking weird. Like, there's a little bit of a loose justification, but there's not, like, too much I can really... Uh, basically, uh, I, should, oh, I have to keep in mind, this is not just a video for people who saw the first one. This is also for new people, so welcome. I'm sorry, I should probably get into it. So, um, as always... You can see the link down below in the description to look at all of these changes for yourself. There's a Google Sheets link and you can look at everything. Uh, you know, there's a very detailed move guide with all the move buffs and changes on there and all really all, all kinds of really cool stuff. So, yeah, um, of course, if you're returning, you already know all this. Uh, Whiskash, uh, Berserk is might be might, might seem like a weird ability. So Whiskash was uh, I'm, I'm going to try to balance this video between repeating myself from the first video and also like explaining the, the change from the first uh, rendition of Whiskash. Um, but basically, I'm going to cover Berserk first because Berserk also warrants some explanation. So you might be looking at Whiskash, you're like, what the fuck? However, if you look at Drampa, you would also take the same thing. You know, this little motherfucker seems super cute and wholesome and happy. But then if you read the deck entry, it talks about flying into a rage and completely destroying everything if it's angered. Similar, similar for Whiskash. Obviously not to the same extent, but this is a ROM hack. If you do read stuff here, it talks about how it's extremely territorial, um, and they just, if anything comes near it, it sets off tremors by thrashing around it. It attacks foes by using vicious tremors if anything atta uh, attacks it, and it's extremely protective of its territory, and it goes on a wild rampage. So, Berserk fits very, very nicely, in my opinion. Not to mention, it makes it a very great Pokemon. So the other Water Ground types, um, they're all very similar. All, f what is it? It's Gastrodon, Whiskash, Quax, I'm gonna go in generation order. It's Quagsire, Whiskash, Swampert, Gastrodon, Seismantil. Yeah, there's five of them, that's what I thought. So there's five of them, all right? And that's a lot of balancing to do, because in this ROM hack, I want to keep things from outclassing one another. I want to keep things unique, okay? Um, and that, that can present some issues sometimes. And uh, obviously, I, I ended up figuring out some really cool stuff here to make them all separate from one another. For example, Quagsire um, is not as bulky as Swampert. It is still very tanky. I mean, 95, 95, 95 is amazing. But um, his real tools here is with the abilities, you know, simple with stuff like Calm Mind and Stockpile and all those other great stuff, which you can go watch that video if you're interested. And then Unaware, of course, is incredible, as always. Also, this should be a uh, bigger text uh, font. Sorry, everybody, I should not be doing this live, but it's bothering me. There we go. So, um, yeah, uh, Swampert. Swampert is almost actually identically as Tanky. Uh, it has 10 less HP than Whiskash and three less defense and one less bedef. So it is not as bulky as Whiskash's. Whiskash is one of the bulkiest of the water grounds, which is definitely something that keeps it viable. Not to mention it has two great abilities. So Swampert also has good abilities, you know, hydration in the rain with a uh, extended damp rock, which lasts 11 turns now or 10 turns. You know, that's great with hydration. And you can also watch the Swampert video there. Not to mention Mega Swampert exists, which is incredible. But um, let me make this bigger as well. That's too big. That's better. Uh, so. Yeah, you just gotta keep that in mind, you know? Um, that's a little too big. Uh, Whiskash. So, the other ones will also have their own traits. Uh, three of them have different water immunity abilities. So, there's Dry Skin on probably Seismitoad, because it's a frog and whatever. Uh, and then there's Water Absorb on Swampert. And then there is uh, Storm Drain on Gashadon, of course. So, that's already one thing keeping them apart. So, Whiskash is not immune to gra uh, water, neither is Quagsire. However, to make up for that, not that that's really a ground break, uh, uh, deal breaking trait to lose out on, although it is useful, especially for a water ground type. Um, 
you know, it gives you really useful immunities, but uh, Berserk is incredible as an offensive tool, while Metabolism is incredible as both an offensive or a defensive tool. So Meta what I really like about these new abilities that chose from this cash, so basically the reason I changed it from Intimidate is because it felt it felt a little bit too stupid. Like, yeah, it's all territorial and shit, and, but it's just, I mean, people were making memes and I'm like, damn, now, now I really don't want to keep it <laughs> because I was already very much on the fence. Like, I was very conflicted when making that. Mostly, I gave him Intimidate just because I wanted him to be the, one of the best water grounds because he was always he was like by far the worst, and so I wanted him to be good. However, um, he is still the tankiest overall. I believe Sabotoad will be the only. It's probably the second tankiest and Swampert most likely. Gash and I might be tankier. I don't, we'll see the stats when, when I eventually get to those guys, but definitely one of the tankiest. Not to mention Metabolism makes it even tankier. Obviously, uh, Quagsire on the way is great, but yeah. Um, I just wanted to differentiate, differentiate them from one another, you know? Um, and Whiskash has, has been in the shadows this whole time. It's always been the worst. The only time it was ever okay was like, I think, what, Gen 5 with like Hydration DD with Perma Rain. That was like the only time it was ever okay, <laughs> sadly. Um, but it's okay. Um, so, yeah, they get awesome stuff. Um, metabolism is a new ability. It works like Cheek Pouch, okay? So both abilities require you to lose HP for the most part. Although technically you could use Metabolism plus like fucking window barrier or something, you know, you could take that grass hit and then heal yourself. That would be really, really cool, actually. For example, you know, for a specific boss fight, you see they have a grass move, you put the window barrier on your Whiskash, you swap, you know, you, you let it take the grass move, you live the grass move because of the window barrier, and then you heal up a little bit, you heal one third HP, which is great, considering that in this run hack, you have, uh, you, you cannot heal in battle, okay? So that's huge, that's really useful. Um, the Metabolism is just a great ability. You can use that with uh, obviously simple things like citrus, berry, or uh, whatever. But some of the best things you can do with Metabolism is uh, number one, abuse the buffed belch, and number two, abuse something like a salak berry. Although, uh, sorry, uh, pat pataya berry, excuse me, he's not fast enough for salak berry. He's way too slow. Now, that's another thing. Um, uh, to make up for losing Intimidate, I did make them bulkier from the first rendition. Nothing crazy. I just took 15 out of speed, 15 more out of speed, and then I put it in a. Uh, defenses so you know just to make up for losing intimidate um i am a lot more happy with this change yes intimidate is really fucking awesome and strong but like it just it was it was bother it was bugging me i'm not gonna lie so um yeah awesome stuff here also you might notice why the fuck does uh, I, I i need to mention i need to repeat myself from the first video so you might you know if you're new here you might be like why the fuck does it have thunder and, and wild charge well uh barboach actually learned spark <laughs> by egg move and so i kind of just took that to the logical extension because they are TMs and you can really reach a lot of TMs in my opinion because they're DMs. You know, if it got like fucking Wild Charger level up, that would be cursed as hell. But, or Thunder even by level up is ridiculous. But, you know, but TM Tutor, I think it makes sense. Um, well, enough sense. enough uh, As much sense as Spark does, okay? I also just like Thunder, like mechanically. I think it also sets it apart from the other Water Grounds because none of the other Water Ground types get any electric moves whatsoever. Um, so, keeping Whiskash unique in that regard is also really cool. For example, Berserk and the Rain with Thunder would be really cool. Um, and then, of course, Metabolism with Thunder could be cool in the rain. And then, of course, just Wild Charge uh, is nice with Metabolism because you deal recoil to yourself. Those are, you know, play rough Wild Charge takedown. Those are one time based power recoil moves. Again, all of the moves are buffed or changed in this hack, so I would definitely just go check that out in the description. Um, there's a very, very useful guide here. You can search up every single move, and it's all organized by several different categories. There's type and there's effect and whatever. So definitely give that a look um, if you're new here. Um, but yeah, Whiskash is just really fucking great, man. I don't know what to say. Like, it's it's got all kinds of really awesome stuff. So great utility uh, stuff like Parting Shot. It has a reliable recovery, which is really important. Uh, all, all water types get rehydrate for the most part. Rehydrate being water type recover. Uh, it used to be Aqua Ring. If you watch my other videos, it was Aqua Ring was water type recover. But I changed the name just because I don't want people going, "What the fuck, Aqua Ring is ass," and then not even checking the description to see what it does now. So I'd rather just rename it. So people are like, "Okay, cool new move. Let's check it out." And then they'll be like, "Okay, cool recovery." You know, that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, also I just like the name. So Rehydrate's cool. Uh, Berserk and Metabolism works great with both abilities. So Berserk plus Rehydrate is insane. You can rack up those boosts. Not to mention, you do have access to priority with Bubble Shot, Mud Shot, Aqua Jet um, for priority. Those are all great. Uh, obviously, especially you have Bubble Shot and Mud Shot, so you have dual stat priority, which works great with Berserk and Rehydrate. You can just rack up those boosts. You also have Calm Mind. So Calm Mind plus Rehydrate plus Berserk is huge. You can also use Calm Mind or Bulk Up with Metabolism, um, both of which are good. Uh, you, again, another beautiful part of this ROM hack is you do have access to infinite usability capsules, so you can and should be switching between your abilities. So for one boss fight, you're running Berserk. Next boss fight, switch your EVs around because you can also do that whenever you want now. You know, you take off the special attack EVs, put them in attack, and then you put on physical TMs or tutors. 
you know, you got liquidation, you got all these other good moves, and then you can run a physical metabolism set, or just a purely utility set. You don't need to run offensive; not everything needs to deal damage or good damage. You know, even with that investment, you're still doing pretty good damage, especially with Berserk. Um, you could totally run like max HP, max defense Berserk with Calm Mind. That'd be pretty fucking dope with like rehydrate and stuff. Um, other great, other great utilities. So stuff like Tickle, Yawn. Um, I didn't mention Belch yet, so Belch, if you are if you are new here and you don't know everybody, or you know if you just need a reminder, that always boosts your special attack stat now. So in conjunction with metabolism, especially, that's great. That's a 120 base power, 100 percent accurate poison type move that gives you plus one special attack. And the beautiful part about that is, not only do you heal from metabolism after using, you know, basically, you get that you you, you use your berry up, you heal from metabolism, and then you use Belch to boost your special attack. However. You need to remember that you can actually use Belch over and over again, even if you switch out. So you can you can switch your Whiskash in on an attack, get taken below a half HP or whatever, get that Citrus Berry to pop, right? Or I believe, uh, yeah, get that Citrus Berry to pop. Okay. Now you're here. Now you're back at full HP because of a uh, metabolism or almost full HP. No, no, full HP. Yeah, 25 plus 33 is over 50. So yeah, you'll probably be at like almost full HP, and then you can swap out and swap back in and use Belch later in the battle, which is really cool. Um, so I love that as well. Um, really just an awesome, super tanky water ground. I love them. Um, they're all great now, obviously, all the water grounds. All the Pokemon are obviously amazing, but, you know, he also has Dragon Edge, which is unique from uh, for the water grounds, but the, it's not very good. You only have 39 speed, so you would need two of them to outspeed anything, and it only has two PPs. And it, you could use it. You could with, like, Metabolism. You, you totally could if you wanted to, especially if you have, like, a plus uh, speed nature. You could, but not the best option. Um... But yeah, stuff like uh, Amnesia, Stockpile, Swallow are also all great, especially with Metabolism or Berserk, um, especially because Swallow is now buffed to be priority and heal you by full, so you can use Stockpile plus Berserk and Metabolism. I love that these two abilities, like, you can swap them around with the ability cap, so you don't have to change your sets around too much. Obviously, you can and should be, but like, you don't have to. You know, it's not like the, it's not like um, Technician and Ruthless, where like, okay, your moves won't have very little overlap, only like First Impression and shit has, is, is affected by both those abilities and a couple other moves like Finishing Glove and stuff. Point being, I really like how your abilities have good synergy here in terms of how they interact with one another, like switching between them. So that's really great. Also just very fitting and cool. Metabolism obviously fits given that he's a glutton and he eats a lot. If you read here, it says that he eats anything. Yeah, a glutton that devours anything that moves. So there's the logical metabolism, obviously, and he's just a fat, fat guy. Um, as for Barboach, um, it is tanky. It will evolve a 30, which is a very, very, very good level uh, evolution level. Um, you'll have that for like Olivia and stuff, which is huge. Um, and yeah, Barboach is solid. It has Gooey and Dry Skin. If you read the Dex entries, it talks about how it's slimy and it slips away from prey and shit. So Gooey is a great ability. Um, with Rehydrate, you can use that for totems. Uh, you know, you'll probably be able to fish it up in Paniola Town. So you'll have that for most of Akala Island to just switch it in and you know drop their speed or just to be immune to water and also uh, heal in the rain. So either one is good. Uh, switch between those. Uh, great coverage moves. Uh, you have Poison, Bug, Fairy, Electric. Obviously, dual stab, all kinds of other stuff. You can see ice, etc. So that's all great. Um, powerful stab options late game. Um, Lands Wrath, Hydro Cannon, Burks Crit with Berserk. Those are both 150 base power moves that drop your special attack step by two, like Draco Meteor does. Tons of new moves do that same thing. So if you are new here, check that out. I should probably shut up. I'm probably rambling a lot. Uh, so I think I'll end this off relatively soon. Uh, Mind Reader, Z Mind Reader is very cool. Z Mind Reader gives you plus three special attack and stored power actually um, works incredible with incredibly with Berserk because stored power essentially now it, it's only it only has three PP. However, you get plus one special attack each time you click it. So combine that with Berserk and Calm Mind or Berserk and Mind Reader. You know, Z Mind Reader plus Berserk will get you plus four special attack in that one turn, and then you get stored power, and that's. 100 base power, you get even more special attack, or I would argue Calm Mind is a better option. Um, mind Reader is mostly just for priority spam, like Z Mind Reader plus um, Berserk plus Bubble Shot and Mud Shot, that would be fucking great because you'll get plus 4 special attack. For example, if you click Z Mind Reader, they take you below half, now you're at plus 4 special attack, now you can click Bubble Shot and Mud Shot, and you always have Rehydrate to heal. Obviously, you have 4 Mosad Syndrome, but every single fucking Pokemon in this entire hack has 4 Mosad Syndrome. Um, that's part of the challenge. You know, you're supposed to juggle your moves around. You're supposed to swap your TMs and around and your tutor moves around and then juggle your level up moves to make sure that you keep what you need. Um, you know, it's a, the, you know that's, that's the fun part of it. Obviously, we learned it is very late game, so that's that's part of the challenge. Um, yeah, I think I got everything covered. I mean, I could talk about every little nitty gritty thing, but this video is probably a little bit long enough. So also to re-upload technically, so I don't want to like rehash everything. Um, again, you can always check out these changes for yourself in the description. I highly recommend doing that. Um, 
yeah, I'll leave it off here. Thank you very much for listening, everybody. If you did enjoy this, please make sure that you leave a like and also drop a comment down below for the algorithm. Uh, let me know what you think of the change. If you are coming back from that first video of Whiskash, let me know what you think of it. That'd be cool um, if you feel like it. I mean, I'm, I like it more this way, and I also think it makes a lot more sense. So, yeah, um, hopefully all the people who were turned off by seeing Intimidate Whiskash are satisfied now because, yeah, um, I think I got everything covered. So goodbye, and I'll be uh, recording another one right after this. So stay tuned for that if you are uh, listening to these as they come out. Bye-bye.